Steps to Freedom, Part 1. We've covered a lot of ground in the series. We've laid a foundation for being free in Christ. Our hope is that through this, you'll gain a degree of freedom with this knowledge. By applying it through the process, we will outline. Additionally, our hope is that you may help others to be free in Christ. The following is a modification of ideas presented from the Bible, a book named A More Excellent Way by Dr. Henry W. Wright, and The Bondage Breaker by Neil T. Anderson. God wants us to be free. This means we operate in the kingdom, free of sin and accusation, and live in the kingdom's truth. God has provided a way that we can help in this truth, a relative degree of freedom and peace. Here's the basic plan for freedom outlined by these six R's, modified seven R's and extracted from a more excellent way. Recognize, responsibility, renounce, repent, resist, and rejoice. We must follow this rigorously to be free in Christ. Recognize an issue in your life that is not from God. This will require you to be a Bible reader, especially the letters in the New Testament from Romans to Jude. Here you will find who God is, what He has promised you, and His plan for you and the church. I've listed some basic scriptures to give you a push start in this on the House Facebook page. Take responsibility for what you have recognized. Don't blame God or anyone else. This requires you to know your Bible. Find where the Bible contradicts your current understanding and action. Sin is simply missing the mark, like when shooting an arrow at a target. Take responsibility for this miss to become more accurate. Blaming God for your past will hinder you from freedom. Blaming others takes away your ability to see what you personally can correct, and it actually per perpetuates the problem. Renounce. Fall completely out of agreement with your sin. This needs to be done mentally and verbally. You need to speak the truth over yourself and in prayer. It also should be done in quiet meditation over the concept. Repent. Repent for your participation with the enemy and the problem you have recognized. This means you subject your current ideas and actions to the Word of God and reject them. From here, join with God and act in accordance with what He has designed. Resist. Continue to remind yourself of the truth. This requires prayer and meditation and written and visual reminders. It helps to tell others what you are applying to your life for change. Rejoice. Give thanks to God for your freedom. This is to continue in the new way. This is to maintain your freedom. Here is how this works. A problem is revealed. Recognition of this problem can come from reading the scriptures, preaching, or a friend. You recognize you aren't in line with God's truth. Pray renunciation of the issue. Tell the Lord that you recognize you're wrong and want to change. Read and meditate as necessary to help overcome the issue. Rejoice in faith that God is transforming you. Thank Him. Keep praying, meditating, and rejoicing in faith till the transformation on this issue is complete. In the next video, we will provide a diagnostic resource for recognizing the areas of change needed in your life.